Our, our competition schedule this year, I couldn't be happy with. We're going to be challenged. We, we're going to travel to some fun spots. But um, we start our season with the Denver Relays, which is always a fun way to start our competitive season. I get to see the kids swim a lot of events. They're racing hard in a lot of events. And it's just way a good, good way to open at home and start our season. Uh, October is a good, good month for us. We swim CSU up there. And then we travel to California at the end of the month and swim UC Santa Barbara and Cal Poly. And uh, both of those teams are good challenges for us, and our kids are excited to go to Southern California that time of year. Uh, we come back in November, and we're going to have a good um, home five-way duel with Seattle men and women, Utah men and women, Northern Arizona women, Colorado School of Mines men. And that just ends our quarter really well. Um, we go into finals after that, and then we travel to Iowa for the Iowa Invitational. Uh, we'll see Michigan, Iowa, a few other Big Ten schools, Notre Dame. Uh, so it's good, good level of competition for us. We won last year on the women's side. Our men raced really well, so our kids are excited to go back. And then uh, we go to Florida for our competition and training trip. We swim Florida Atlantic down there and spend a week training on the beach. Uh, it's a good situation for our kids to train at sea level and be motivated to swim outside. And um, we end it there. And when we come back in January, we have senior day on January 14th against uh, Wyoming and BYU. Those teams have always brought out the best in our dual meet swimming and I uh, can't wait to see how the kids react to the challenge. Uh, we swim Air Force up there and then we finish January Northwestern uh, swimming Northwestern in Missouri and that ends our dual meet season and we just get ready for championship season, get kids qualified for NC2As and hopefully defend a couple of Sun Belt titles that were hard won. Um, we don't take that for granted and we're excited for the level of competition that the Sun Belt brings us, and hopefully we'll see what happens this year. How does competing against some of those bigger name schools and bigger conferences prepare you guys for the NCAAs and the Sun Belt and your competitions? You know, we really want to make kids having appearances on a national level, Olympic trials, NC2A championships, and you have to swim people that are swimming fast, and sometimes... Uh, those bigger schools, bigger conferences can help us do that, but um, our kids do a nice job of racing hard no matter who we're swimming.